Son married his own mother, but what happened on the wedding day is very horrifying. Part 2 After tying the knot, Paul eagerly followed in his father's footsteps, joining the mining company with the company's support. He and his wife settled into a small but beautiful home, courtesy of his employer. The mining job was tough, and Paul wasn't as strong as his father. He often complained about body pains, but he didn't give up because he needed to support his family. Five years later, Paul and his co-workers were working when a big landslide happened. Only a few people survived, and luckily Paul was one of them. After this incident, Susan urged Paul to quit his perilous job and explore other avenues for their future. Although Paul hesitated to leave his current employment, he did take one significant step towards their dreams. He purchased the plot of land, envisioning a future in horticulture. After purchasing the land, he abandoned it and continued working at the mine. Little did he know that this land would eventually make his dreams come true and give his family the life they wanted fast forward five years, and Paul and Susan's family had grown to include two wonderful children, Joshua and their youngest, Stella. It was Joshua with his innocent charm who would later lead his mother down the aisle for a truly surprising reason. Find out what happened next by pressing the plus and like, share, comment, married for part two. If you haven't seen the previous parts of this story, you can go to my profile and scroll down to see it.